My name is Astro Lotus, an Aladrin hailing from the Feywilds. I have traversed great lengths to get here. I am a cleric of the god Sylvanus, and a sage of the Four Seasons, sent on a divine mission to determine the halt of the natural order, and hopefully set things right. Hi! My name is Sorelia. Sorelia Eon. I am an autonome bard from the island nation of Lantan. I have traveled to the Icewind Dale to find something stolen from my creator, among other things. Bye-bye! Hello, my name is Siphus Tomeseeker. I am a human mage hailing from the Academy of Waterdeep. I have heard rumors of a great city once lifted to the stars that came crashing back down here in the far north. Hence have I come to the Icewind Dale, seeking the knowledge and magic of that once great city. Greetings, friends. I am Garrosh, a proud silver dragonborn. I grew up in forests south of the Icewind Dale, training to become a stronger ranger that protects both nature and civilization. I have come to the Icewind Dale following a prophetic dream and a mysterious egg. I look forward to seeing what challenges present themselves and to help the people that are suffering along the way. Hello, my name is Kadaro Soret, and I'm a half drow tiefling. I grew up not far from the Icewind Dale in a small settlement just outside of Luskin. I was born with an innate arcane ability, and have worked on mastering my powers for as long as I can remember. Now that my life is in my own hands, I want to travel to the Dale and find myself. Last we left off, you guys had traded the life of Perilu Fishfinger for a few days worth of rations. The male yeti has entered into his den, um, unaware of anything that has transpired past his entrance, or before his entrance, I should say. You guys ha have Garrett in front of you, who's like, Please, we need to go just a little farther up the mountain. I, she should still be here. We haven't seen her her body. Asterix could be alive. Well, that was a cold open. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna burn you at the stake. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we must get out of here anyway. So up, up we go. Yeah, let's go. Traveling up the mountain, you are. All right. Well, I don't believe it requires anything, f more, any more perilous climbs. So it's just traveling. If you guys want, you can move up to this ridge over here on the mountain. Uh, I will. Garrett will also come as well as Perilu, but Perilu is very grievously wounded. Uh, and Garrett is going to try and practice some kind of medicine to stabilize her. Or at least to make her feel any better. Mm -hmm. The ice is getting to her. And in a matter of hours, she could die due to... I almost forgot the word for frostbite. But <laughs> thankfully I remember that. Or hypothermia. Um, I'll make a medicine check on her if I can. Okay, yeah, go ahead. You come to the edge of a vast and deep crevasse. With nowhere to go but down. A collapsed That's 22. 22. Yeah, I rolled a 17 and I have plus 5. Alright, yeah. You are able to identify that she is... Suffering from... You, yeah, you were able to... Uh, yeah, you, well, I was saying you were able to identify <laughs> what's ailing her at the moment. And wrapping a few pieces of your warm weather clothing around her not too many but just around parts mm. that are suffering the worst it seems this woman is cold <laughs> essentially <laughs> she, she might she, she's cold we need to warm her um but anyways as you had reached the top of this crevasse a collapsed tent lies half buried in the snow near the precipice Jutting out of a nearby snowbank is a pair of blue leather boots. Next to this grim display holds a figure in cold weather clothing sitting on her knees in the snow. Uh, her body lurched toward a piece of clear ice, horns protruding underneath the figure's fur-lined hood, unmoving. There's two bodies I should clarify in front of you guys. On the ground is a pair of blue boots that, the farther you go up the body, it is covered in snow, clearly been buried by time. Uh, the next body is another body with horns protruding through its hood, 
pressing up. Its its body is lurched up against the wall where there is some clear ice and scratch marks that have covered some kind of piece uh, of inside the ice. Are these all corpses? Both of these are corpses. Cool. Yeah. You said there were claws on the ice, like they were trying to get to something. Yeah. Can I see animal what they claws were trying or like... to get to? Sorry. You can give me an investigation. I think, the de- I think the dead body, the person was trying to get to. Something. Yeah, I was wondering is it like is it claws of like them clawing at the ice, or is it like an animal? Uh, you can give me an investigation. Okay, I'll wait for. It. Um, is the the horned person? You yes. said they were hooded. Uh, yes. Can I go take off their hood? Yeah, Garrett. <clears throat> oh. Very, very sadly, oh, so confirms oh, you. Oh, you pull the hood back. No. Asterisks. Yep. Uh. She is dead. He doesn't seem like too despaired. More of a like, this is terrible. I got a 19 on my investigation to see what he was trying to get to. Upon investigating, there is a black piece of metal lodged deep into the ice in front of you guys. Can I tell what it is? Like, You can't make out due to the claw marks scratching at the ice and kind of removing any of the clear ice that had sat on it beforehand. But you can you can make out that it's a piece, like a shard of something black. Uh, um, can I try to dig to it? it uh, yeah. If you... <sighs> What? Do, how do you want to try and dig to this? I smash the ice with my, uh, I guess, with my quarter staff. Uh, okay. Is it just like a solid brick? It is. It is ice? several. It's like a foot into <clears throat> ice. Well, I'll just hold my to- uh, torch. My torch with near it then. Okay. <laughs> you hold your torch near it, and as it as it slowly begins melting the ice you realize you may be here for several hours if this is your method um right does anybody else have something sharp can i see syphus doing this yeah i turn to him and i go can't can you not fireball cast fire in some form i could i should i'll try a firebolt and see how close i can get to it all right give me give me your firebolt do I have to roll the hit? No. Just roll damage. Uh, okay. Five. There, There is very visibly a about a quarter inch of ice that has melted down in the snow. There, the, the ice that was now clawed is now clear again. You can I see what it is now? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to, I mean, you don't know exactly what this is, but you can make it out way more clearly. Give me, hmm, Arcana. Is yeah, give me Arcana. Perfect. That is a twenty-three. Oh my God, you recognize this as Shardlin. It is an incredibly, I would say, not rare, but uh, it's a substance that occurs naturally in the north or northwestern regions of Faerun. Um, it can absorb mm. magic in some capacity. Hmm. It is. Do I know? What's up? Do I know if I would destroy it by digging to it with firebolts? No, you don't think so, but you do know that it would take you a, quite a while. Yeah. We could double team it. Uh, I'll call over Garrosh. I think Garrosh yeah. has a big axe, right? Yeah. Think uh, you might be able to prize this from the ice for me? Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, <laughs> what do you want me to roll, if anything? Uh, give me athletics. You're just trying to scrape this thing out or smash it. Yeah, effectively. Um, does anyone, while this is going on, want to search any other part of the campsite? There is a uh, a section of like a ruined tent 
or you can search yeah. bodies. Yeah. yeah um. Oh, go ahead. No, you should do it. You, right. you said it first. Uh, uh, I was. Uh, I wanted to know like who this this dead person is under the snow. You can give me an athletic or yeah, athletics check to pull out their body. Woo! I saw you got an eight. Yeah, I got an eight. You smash your, is it your hammer? What do you have? I forget. Uh, it's a long sword, but I thought we also got like pickaxes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, you smash it in and there is hardly a chunk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Haley, just yeah. as, just, so Garosh, you slam your pickaxe into the ice and it almost sends like a shock wave through the handle. Uh, it's, it's not coming cl like any looser anytime soon, evidently. Mm -hmm. uh, and as that's going on, you feel Sorelia bump into your back as she fully unmasks this dead person um, who's been frozen to the ground until now. On them, you find blue leather boots uh, and an empty wineskin, a half-eaten block of goat's cheese, and a miner's pick. Ooh, a pick. Yeah. Yeah, I want to I pick it up. Cyphus, so, uh, Kateros, Asterisk, you guys want to search Asterisks, Asterisks? Can, while, can uh, I ask Paralu what, we, what they were here for? Uh, we were just here for looking for Oyama Nartok. I'm assuming you had no luck. No, even worse. I'd say terrible luck. Hmm. What? happened the yetis i guess they're hungry uh she begins to regale the tale of how they got separated garrett starting to chime in like that's right that's right uh as they had all made it up the mountain planning to get to where i guess this was right now um the mother yeti came uh swinging in and grabbed a few of them the others like asterix and garrett running off um the rest you guys can put together through the context of saving them, but to see what happened it wouldn't do you any better justice. It is a cut and dry case of a Yeti attack. Uh, so, Sorelia, Garosh, do you, you guys want to try and dig out this piece of Shardlin? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to keep trying. All right. Can yeah, you guys I'll... give me athletics if, checks? If there's a pickaxe, I will help either by giving <laughs> guidance or... Uh, by roll, whichever is more helpful. Oh, damn. Does anyone want to search Asterix? Um, is there anything else to find on them? Absolutely. Well, the the other stuff was on the, the leftover body, the, uh, the dwarf's body that you guys found. Is um, it rude oh, to search the dead body of her friend while she's right there? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't that think was my hesitation. You guys can see Paralu <laughs> and Garrett have moved over to the corner to, like, like plan out their next move of what to do when they go home and you, um, you look at Asterix's body. I would also like to give guidance to Garrosh with the strength check. Okay. Or the athletic check. Sick. So, uh, so Kateros Cyphus, who's who's looting this dead guy this dead guy? Or this dead person. Uh I I will not. <laughs> um I'll do it. Also like loot them kind of look them over see if they have anything helpful and also just like cover them you find a potion of invisibility uh and then a leather spell book which contains the following spells as uh like spell sheets alter self cloud of daggers comprehend Ooh. languages detect magic expeditious retreat scorching ray Shield, suggestion, and tensor's floating disc. Will you do me a huge favor and send that in Discord? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's mostly relevant for Cyphus, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know how clerics interact with spell. <laughs> Definitely different will... to a wizard. Do you? Does Kateros plan on just putting this into his bag? Well, you said these were spell sheets, right? Or yeah, was it in a they're book? Like, they're in a book. They're they're just like lined in a book. Um, I'll take it over to Cyphus. What are you doing right now? Watching the the miners at work. <laughs> <laughs> Harvesting me my ore. Um, Kateros will take the spellbook over to you and ask if you have any interest in it whatsoever. Oh, certainly. 
some of these could be very useful. Yeah, he'll pass it off to you. Um, he'll keep the potion of invisibility on himself in case we need it later. Um, is there anything else on the body? Uh, that's it. Interesting. That's a pretty fucking powerful spell book, so... Yeah. So it's kind of scared you guys were going to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> the body. I mean, you didn't put it on the dead... I mean, I guess you didn't create this campaign, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, um, I'll go ahead and cover them and kind of give them a little thank you for this. I don't think we'll be able to take them back down the mountain, but we shall see. Oh yeah, I'm a priest, right? Um, I should be um doing some last, last rites. rites. For <laughs> you, you mean priestly duties? Yeah. <laughs> Corrupt priest. I mean, my priestly duties are like what, like, wifely duties, right? Like that means I, I have sex with y'all. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, You're gonna tell me now? <laughs> I mean, I'm just oh. waiting for you. Oh, I thought you were supposed to make them green. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so I, I will perform last rites um, upon these. Um, basically, just like, of course, a fucking. Yeah. Do you want to take um, Tier? You take a minute. You think of think of or write down whatever whatever last right okay. Cyphus reads to someone. Uh, but you two who are are cracking open this fucking ice. Uh, yeah. What did you yeah. guys get in total? Sixteen. I rolled a twelve. Okay. It's just far enough. You smash it just up to the face of the shardlin. Half of it is still stuck to the ice, but now you can touch it. Um, you can you can get around it. Do you think we could pull it out? With a good enough strength uh, check, I would allow. I want to try. Yeah. Hear yeah, little mecha muscles. I'll try. Who knows? Maybe no, I'll roll no, another no. at twenty. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you. Um, I'll let me help you. <laughs> oh my god! god. My <laughs> fucking Maybe god. I'll roll another nat twenty. Done. <laughs> oh. Can That's we get a nat point. 20 counter for me, please? <laughs> we yeah. have one. It's too many. <laughs> yes. It's not me. It's the owl bear. You, sorry. <laughs> you describe it. I, I don't even know how to go about describing this. Yeah, so how how high up is it? It's it's me? around, like, you are standing up, but you can just reach in. Like, it's, it's about waist to chest height to you, uh, only a, a foot into the ice so you can okay. grab hold of that motherfucker <laughs> yeah she uh wraps her little hands around it and uh <laughs> she she like lifts her body so both of her feet are up against the wall so she can try to stand up against the wall to pull it out <laughs> just yes eh, good. and then she just does yeah she fucking <laughs> pops out grabs Hold of it. Uh, Yippee! What is it? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's Shardolin. It's a magic stone. I believe they're able to absorb magic to some degree. Ooh. Um, all right. Certainly will be useful. Who, uh, who wants to keep it on them? Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was handed over. <laughs> Did they say at all why they were searching for this in the, the first magic. place? I don't. Garrett know if lets they were you know that. For this. Asterix never asked me or, or told me anything about their adventures here. Um, Justin. <laughs> yes. Uh, nothing. I guess it, it, nothing at the moment. Sorry, I was. Can I cast to... identify on it? Yes. Okay, it's instantaneous with touch. All right. Uh, Justin, there is something demonic inside this. As soon as you grab hold of it, you look into it, and it looks back at you. Ooh. It, uh, you immediately feel a, a burning desire to drop this on the snow. It's, it's an instinct in your body that tells you, let go of this. And it falls to the snow in front of you. Okay. 
Uh, uh, with with identify, uh, I can read the description. I learn its properties, how to use them, whether it requires attunement, how many charges, if any. I learn if any as spells are affecting the item and exactly what they are. There's, and if the item was created by a spell, I learn which spell created it. There's it, This is not created by a spell. This is a magical stone with no magic, like no specific spell cast upon it. Hmm. It and and what else did you want to know about it? Just I can just learn what magic is affecting it. If I touch a creature through the casting, which might be what this count is, I learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. Uh, no, no. Okay. Can I make a guess at what it is? If you give me a a twenty in an Arcana check, I will let you know that something like what is affecting this. Okay. I have plus six to Arcana, and I did not get it. <laughs> Can I oh. give them guidance? All right. I have no yeah, idea. It, no, that's it, not gonna help. Yeah, it's it unhelpful. Help. Yeah. All right, I just another roll. <laughs> no, it's okay. Just just let Soralia roll. She'll get another nat 20. It's fine. Yeah. I Well, I let I let everybody know that there's something evil in that. Can I touch um, it? After Aster is done uh, doing last rites. Um, Justin, can you uh, give me a D100? Oh no! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. D one hundred. I was gonna say Aster's ears perk up. Something evil. I mean, something magical. Twenty four. Oh damn. Oh wait, D one hundred. Can you give me a, a wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Oh, now it's getting spicy. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's not. That's not a good sign. Oh no! Eight. Oh, Justin. I was so close to an 18. All right. Justin, your now immediate bodily f like function is to get that Shardolin and hold on to it. You you cannot let anyone else in the group hold this. Do not let anyone in the else in the group touch this. It's yours. Uh, did I manage to say that there's something evil in it before I started doing this? Uh, you maybe have started whispering it. I'd give anyone who gets a, a 13 on perception or above to have heard it. Can I use passive perception? Did I have you have 13? Yeah, absolutely. You heard uh, Cyphus whisper something evil about oh, and then reach down and grab hold of it. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have really a perception of 15, shit. so that's, yeah, I have a perception of 15. <laughs> I think I heard it. Her ears pick up the evil rock then. I would ask, can I eat it? No. That seems unwise. It's mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. So there's <laughs> something evil in it, and it's yours. Garrett suggests maybe it's time that we head down. As he looks over uh, one of the peaks, he can see that the Yeti has exited the Yeti's den and is now, like, looking around, and he hushes everyone, telling you all to get down. I need you guys to give me a group stealth check and it's Delightful. it's a very very low check that's am not, i trying I mean, to be stealthy how in control of my own actions am i you are fine right now you're you're good that's a 10 okay. for me all right i got a 10 as well all right i i i i, I got a 10 <laughs> yeah. a 13 all right oh. you, does anyone dive <laughs> to see at the edge or are you all just dropping where you are I'm fucking just dropping. Oh, right, I, I don't want to deal with it. I, I want to see what's going on. All right, I, you can you yeah. see along the uh, the thing over here. We'll have uh, Garrett and Paralu who are looking down. Uh, you can move over if you'd like, but you can see that the male yeti has walked out of his den. He looks down down the mountain, and then he turns back and looks up. He puts a hand uh, in almost a binocular, a singular like telescope like uh fashion <laughs> suddenly putting it down and then lifting his nose to the air taking a few sniffs that exhale hot breath in steam before he starts to descend the mountain so away from us yes down the way that we were going to go uh, he, you are to get to he where he is. You have to go down the next section of the mountain to get to his den, and he's already moving down from there. I guess my question is: Do you, in order, 
We're planning on now that we've got our stuff heading back down to the town, right? Mm -hmm. So is he going down towards the town or is he going down a different way? Uh, you have no idea. He's just gone down the mountain. You don't know if he's going the beaten path or if he's going like a Yeti path. Okay, I see. You could but me... I guess what I'm trying to say is, he, is he jet heading the general direction of town? No, just down the mountain. Okay. Just in general. Okay. There's no... Valid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, understood. All right. Plans? Um, how's our little dwarf friend looking? The the dwarf is dead. <laughs> the, oh, is she a halfling? halfling? She's I think a halfling. she's a halfling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. She's stable. She doesn't seem as bad but it, you know that uh, any more any f more hours out here that aren't spent traveling back is going to be cost her something cool we need to be let's let's start headed back for um, sure. i agree oh god and say if you guys do need it justin i don't know if you know what tensor's floating disc is it's a real good one it's uh <laughs> but if this is it's not as good that. as as you'd believe honestly <laughs> But it's a it's basically like a free lift. Or, or magic floating, a literally a floating disc, yeah. It's a magic wagon essentially. Uh, it's just like a flat plane. Do you guys um, want to go down the beaten path or do you guys want to go down an uncharted we got, we path? Got, we got our sled dogs, right? Oh yeah, you're them? right. You do have your dogs with you. You have you have boy and Borf with you or and we have the sled for them, right? No, that is at the base of the mountain. Uh, okay, mm. so that is, okay, I do understand. Great, great, great. Cool. Then in that case, um, yeah, I Should think probably, the yeti can go. Yeah, just try and avoid the yeti. I feel like it'll be easier because we're following behind it, so we can like, uh, maybe um, Garrosh can track it. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Aster points at Garrosh. Maybe Garrosh can do something about it. Well, the reason I stumbled <laughs> is because I yeah. like forgot his name, and then I looked at the sheet, and he's fucking G-Man on there. So that didn't help me at all. <laughs> just call him G-Man. Yeah, just call him G-Man. You know, G-Man. Well, no, because G-Man is the green man. Oh, you yes. Oh, yeah. Green man. Yes, you may consider me the newest adherent. I like this green man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Who's leading the charge down? Garrett is willing to uh, go first in order to get everyone ready for like the perilous climb down from the Yeti's den. But he's, say you guys can see and remember the path that you took to get up to the peak. I would probably go with... Um, either me or Garrosh in front. Um, simply me because armor, in case we get into scrap. Um, and Garrosh, uh, for tracking, being able to find yeah. and carve out a good path. I'm attaching people to people. Yeah, I think that's a solid plan. All right. Okay. <laughs> buddy system. Yay! Oh, wow. With the two dogs, then. All right. Two of dogs. <laughs> Beaten path <laughs> or forge your friend. own path? I um, mean, the Yeti is pretty big, so... I mean, I feel like we would be able to spot it, maybe? My fear... Uh, I guess my one fear if we go on the path <laughs> is that it is probably expecting us to be on the paths mm -hmm. or expecting someone to be on the paths at the very least. Okay. Um, so it would potentially be more likely. However, it's also potentially likely that us just wandering off the beaten path could be wandering directly into its path or whatever. So... I think the best thing to do is to have Garrosh see uh, if they can get any idea on which direction uh, the Yeti has been heading, and maybe we can just 
try and go not that way. Justin, what did you roll for? I did I roll? Oh, it said Cyphus rolled a d20. I don't know if you oh, had some up no. your your fucking. No, I haven't sleeve. rolled. I haven't rolled. <laughs> there he is. No, no plans. Never done that once in his life. <laughs> Honestly, insulting for you to imply that you might. <laughs> All right, so Garrosh is leading. Um, Garrosh, you're going to roll for me. Yeah. Uh, what do you want, survival? Are you... So you're leading. You choose beaten path or forge, forge your own through the mountain. God, I haven't had a make a choice like this since Fire Emblem Fates. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> forge your own... Yeah, god damn it. <laughs> you, I can't believe you fucking referenced Fire Emblem that well. I of think, course. I think that's... I think that, in certain countries, uh, that's actually jail time <laughs> for doing this. Not in Japan. <laughs> What's your choice? Uh, okay, you guys want me to make this choice? I mean, I was hoping that you could roll like a survival check or something just to get a better idea on the choice. But I'm also yeah. down for you to. Make I would let it you. Fit. I would let you do survival or nature. All right, I will try a survival. I'm gonna use my instincts on to see what I think might be less dangerous question mark one second oh uh, let's see i've got a plus five to that let's do so it's a 12 to try to figure out any information all right uh well the yeti's already left so assuming that it's going down there's no real reason for you to not go the beaten path because there's no way you'd run into it. Works. Let's go. All right, let's do that. And then five is base camp. All right, guys. You're making it down to one. Oh, wait, hold on. Here, I'll lock those down for you. Thanks. I accidentally moved them. <laughs> <laughs> you make a trek down the beaten path. It takes almost no time at all. Everyone is super careful with their trek and making sure not to fall, making sure not to knock anyone else down, and making sure to help Boof and the other dog make their way down perilous ledges. You have dogs tied to people, people tied to people. There's hooks that are being placed for future climbers. And you reach the front of the Yeti's den. Um, you guys, obviously, I'd have the male yeti disappear but inside you can see nothing <laughs> you could try and peer inside if you want but no not completely necessary now i'm curious we see nothing unless you <laughs> want to take a little lucky there is a perilous climb. I, yeah go ahead I go by go i'm not like sticking my head in but like i got dark vision might as well try you want to give me Perception. Uh, that is a twelve. Give me a D one hundred. What if I don't want to? Yeah, uh, I don't think I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> Pateros right. walking past, and you can put. I'm gonna put you over here. Uh, uh, that six. A six. Six. A six on a D one hundred. Got two zeros and a six, so I'm pretty sure that's a six. All right. Excuse me as I put something down here. It's in the prepackage. There it is. You see what appears to be a small bag, or a, like a, a small leather pouch that's just on the ground. And that's all I see. It's just sitting there in the front of the the cave entrance. Tempting, isn't it? Definitely wasn't there before, right? No, Suspicious. no. Uh, who's uh, behind me? Who's immediately around me? Kateros, uh, it's Garrosh and Aster, you and Boof, Cyphus, Garrett, and then Perilu and Sorelia. So um, me and Garrosh are right behind you. Yeah, I'll tap on Aster and G-Man right in front of me and kind of point to the bag in there um and just kind of do a did either of you leave anything in there i don't uh, recall that at all no 
I'm not saying we should go back in the Yeti cave. However, <laughs> it looks like someone might have. All right, Boof raises his nose to the air, and for a moment, I would put it on here if we all had it, but I have an extension on here for it. I wonder if I can use it. Ah, no. Uh, it, you have 30 seconds to decide. He raises his nose and starts to make a growling noise, preparing for something. He, he looks out towards uh, some of the smaller cliffs into the distance where it disappears behind rock and snowfall. You have to make a choice. Um, everyone in the expedition is, like, dead or found, right? Yes. Okay. I think fuck it, let's go then. Yeah, I, I don't want to leave this poor halfling in the elements any longer. Well, the bag is just in the doorway. It's not oh. like, deep in inside. Can the... I, would I, uh, one, at, I guess out of character, but potentially in character because Aster knows about magic and shit. Um, does anybody have mage hand? Um, I do. Uh, oh, perfect. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Garrosh is also just like running in. I'm literally about to go in if we don't do anything. <laughs> I'll use Mage Hand. In... <laughs> Garrosh, give me Grab. athletics. Uh, Sorelia, give me Arcana. <laughs> it's it's a dash between Garrosh's physical <laughs> speed and Sorelia's Mage Hand speed. Uh, and also, Borf is trying to get to it. Oh. He oh, didn't my. like it. <laughs> No, he's smelling something in the air, but if everybody's going for something, he also wants that thing. He, he does want to participate. Understood. Oh, oh my god! Are you god. fucking <laughs> kidding me? Sorelia? Uh, I get it. Sorelia, <laughs> you, you remember what I said earlier? Haley, can you give me a D100? Yeah, what's inside? You rip open this uh, not very tight knot this satchel before you 35 35 <laughs> you pull out a short handled feather duster made of axe beak down Ooh. um you can tell by grabbing hold of it i think or actually no i don't think you can tell anything about this thing i'll wave it around uh do you touch yourself with it or anyone else? Or just Well, a... I can't feel it, so... Okay. Um, well, <laughs> you... Well, actually, just waving it around... Yeah. <laughs> you notice that Perilu, who's, like, leaning on you for support, her clothes are no longer dirty. Oh. Uh, and you have... you Not like not like your grease shine, but you are a tad bit cleaner. Ooh. It is a magic item that magically cleans things within a 10-foot radius. That's so fun. <laughs> uh, the satchel is just a satchel. <laughs> is it uh, is it worth keeping at all, you think? It or holds is it just like... the feather duster. <laughs> and that's it? <laughs> that's, how, that's all that's in it. The feather mm. duster is pretty small. Yeah, I dropped the satchel to the ground. I all don't right. need this. <laughs> Fuck that satchel. Fuck it. All right, guys. Back up in the perilous climb. I need everybody to make a. Oh no! What the fuck oh, was no. that? <laughs> I forgot what the the check was. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> well, if you forgot the check, could we, you know, not? <laughs> you know what? I was just about to get to it, but that's such a good point for sure. <laughs> I need, unless someone wants to cast Feather Falling. Oh, I've got Feather Fall. <laughs> Do you want to cast Feather Fall? Uh, it only affects five people, though. All right. Uh, well, it's going to be an athletics check to get down. And given your pension for it, I don't think that'll be very tough for you, Haley. Yeah, I do have plus four in athletics. What? Because so. <laughs> uh, I'm... Spunky, what do you want from me? <laughs> Fair enough. Little little gymnast. Okay, so yeah. athletics checks. Athletics checks around yeah. the board. I'll do athletics checks, and anyone who misses uh, and falls down, I'll get them with feather ball. Cyphus. 
Uh, that makes my athletics check a nine. It's okay, I got an eight. <laughs> so, um, oh, oh my god! Stop it, <laughs> I get down there just fine. Will Catch me on your way nine. down. I do a flip. <laughs> uh, Garrett is gonna get all right, and then Perry Lou. Perfect. Okay. More than enough. A few steps into it, Cyphus and Aster like slip on some very slippery ice and nearly plummet. But thanks to the ropes, the climbers kits, they equal each other's balance or they uh, balance each other equally, allowing you to catch yourself before falling and grabbing hold of uh, slits and cracks in the wall to regain your footing and continue climbing Ooh. down. Everybody makes it to two you guys can move to um next up you guys have to decide whether you want to make it to where you had fought the crag cats before this now very like open uncovered grassy area that has a little bit of snow on it do you want to forge your path around this or do you want to just run, gun it straight through um can we look and see if the yeti's nearby yeah, give me nature check with a little bit of a disadvantage just because it is snowing and it's hard to track some of the footprints. Okie dokie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I don't do shit. <laughs> she, she's looking at a bush. She's like, he could have been. He could be hiding in there. Her, her like <laughs> eyes are covered in snow. <laughs> Need like a little windshield wiper. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just dust it off. <laughs> the first time Sorelli has ever seen it before. Does anyone else want to try a nature check and find this thing? Uh, yeah, I, I was. I rolled a nature check. I got a seventeen. Seventeen. You can tell that. Oh wait, disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, um. Thirteen. All right. You can't tell if it's been recently here. But you can tell that there has been certain other animals moving throughout here, specifically crag cats and mountain goats. Crag cats again, huh? It seems this area is... Well, since we saw them last time? We didn't uh, leave one alive. Or just in general? Just uh, since, since you've been here, new footprints have been tossed about. We can take them. <laughs> Um. Yeah, is anyone else gonna try to roll nature? That's fine. It, d Garosh, you're leading. Yeah, uh... Yeah, let's continue on the same path back. Alright. Give me... Oh, sorry. Give me a D100. Lots of D100s. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> 78. All right. You make it back to the Mountain Goat Pass from where you are. Passing through the area in which you had fought the Crag Cats, there's still some crimson stained blood from where you had skinned and taken the, the Crag Cat corpse, but nothing seems to be a, uh, an, any issue here. Moving over towards uh, your last way to base camp you get a very uneasy sense that you're being watched uh, you guys Brand. can either go yeah can I pop a good berry spell and start eating yeah absolutely nice do you want to go the regular path or do you want to try and forge your own path down Man, I didn't. I, I haven't played a visual novel in so long. Um, <laughs> what? Hold on. What was at the base camp? A tent. I f uh, the dogs. Some food. See, here's the thing. I know I should go to base camp. But I really want to go explore something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, Garrosh is... Garrosh is 
kind of an adventurer, not because he wants to explore things, but he wants to fight something strong. Mm -hmm. Uh. Us too. <laughs> yeah, let's uh. No, Any no, let's do it. Let, 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 let's do it. Let, let's go. Let's go forge our own path. Let, let's let's uh. Give me survival let's... check. I'm down to bushwhack. And you have advantage simply because Garrett's with you. And if you're going to be moving forward, he's going to move up next to you. All right. You are able yep. to reach base camp within a very short time. Uh, it takes you less than an hour, but you climb around and rappel down from a very short cliff. Everybody makes it down safe. You find your sleds intact. And looking up the mountain, you can see a humanoid figure leaping up farther up. Uh, after you catch sight of it. Uh, you guys want... A humanoid figure? Yeah, you, a large humanoid figure. As soon as you look up onto the mountain, you can see it looking back down at you. And with the connection, it jumps up through the rocks and uh, maneuvers through them very quickly, disappearing into the distance. Oh, right. We thought someone was watching us. Yeah. All right. You guys want to move all the way down? Yeah. Yeah. You've made it to base camp. Garrett and Perilu are looking for the rest of their reins and everything as Garrett prepares to take off for Targos, asking if you guys will be joining them. I I need rest before. I go. <laughs> that's probably a good. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Can we camp at base camp? Should we camp at base camp? It is, I will say, as you've reached down, do it reaching, the first time. as you've reached down, as uh, you've descended down the mountain, it has aged, or at least time has passed, onto around nine or ten in the afternoon. This is when the twilight is at its peak, and you've got the most sunlight you'll have in the day. This is the apex of light. The pa the way down is a little shadowed by Kelvin's Cairn, but you can see. Uh, Kel uh, Karakonig in the distance and other Cairdinaval along with East Haven as it, as it descends and you look farther off. There's mounds covering a bunch of other things uh, so you can't see the entire obviously Icewind Dale but traveling back wouldn't take you it wouldn't take you more than an hour. Yeah, we should we should definitely go back to town. Yeah, right? yeah. let's keep going. Alright. Heading back. Let's get you guys a map, because I haven't been able to do this. Or no, I did. I literally have it. <laughs> what am I talking about? All right. I hope it isn't preset like I had before. Here we go. It is. Let me dig you guys out <laughs> it's full of fog ta-da oh okay and then and don't hey. hold your breath oh <laughs> coming in it's coming late. in from <laughs> the <laughs> other area cyphus it's just me Sorelia. everybody else in the expedition mysteriously <laughs> disappeared <laughs> <laughs> evil rock had nothing to do with it <laughs> as you guys arrive in Targo or listen to me Targos as you guys arrive in Karakonig you say goodbye to Garrett boy Perilu and the rest of the dogs as they tell you to well Garrett tells you Perilu couldn't really give a fuck <laughs> Garrett lets you know that as soon as you're back in Targos please swing by my house we'll be more than happy to pay you with what we have Okay. All right. We should probably tell those people their goats are dead. Are the goats dead? We found goat skulls. Don't know if they're their goats, but uh... I don't think. I think that's probably mm. not. Aren't those just mountain goats that died? Also, how long would they have had to be out there to be skulls now? <clears throat> well, if they were eaten, not very long. That's a very good point. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's go back. Uh, let's go back to the inn anyway, so we can rest, I guess. All yeah. Right. Before we decide on doing anything else. Ooh, I should Why definitely make this wicked smaller. 
Uh, but if you guys want, you can move into the northern light, which is... Oh, I can actually just make this smaller. This guy right here. There is also... Nice. Yeah, if you want, you can head back to the northern light. It is around the middle of the day. You can head to Frozen Far Expeditions if you want to buy anything. Uh, but as you arrive back, the women working, uh, the two ooh, women who run the Northern Light, <clears throat> the sisters, very, like welcome you excitedly. Uh, Ali gives you like a, how is your track to Kelvin's Karn? For us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we yeah, were yeah, successful. Well, but... But we were yeah, successful yeah, do you guys end. come in looking like shit? No, because of the magical duster. Oh, yeah, you're so I, right. I, I, yeah, yeah, we come out looking wait, great. Wait. Well, you <laughs> five are looking particularly we, spiffy. We look clean. But do you. Remind me. <laughs> did anyone die or get close to dying? Yes. Nick. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, Kateros is clean. I think we probably look very but... clean, but I think a few of us maybe look a bit fucking worse for wear. <laughs> I look tired. Sh I think that's probably the thing. Kateros... I'm, like, out of every ability I have. Um, Allie, the human commoner, uh, she, carrying a few different things of cleaning supplies around the tavern, inspects your group, and notices that you are a little, you know, more lackluster than the rest, given your condition. Uh, and you can tell that she's a little put off by you, be it uh, one reason or another, but she asks all the same, oh, you, you look like shut. Can I, can I get you anything, hon? No, I'm, I'm fine. Um, maybe some alcohol would be nice. All right, uh, and she yells into the back, Corey, and you take a seat. Uh, she gestures for you to sit down in a nearby, like, bar stool. Uh, if it's alcohol you're looking for in mass, I'd suggest, well, the hook, line, and sinker is doing pretty well, given the circumstances. It's very exciting and very inviting. You've got all day, unless you're planning on leaving. Go in there if you're looking for a good time. Uh, I was and... being honest. Uh, I'm planning to take a nap after this, so <laughs> maybe another time. Thank you. She gives you a small mug of the house ale and leaves you alone to go clean the rest of the inn. Is anybody grabbing a, a room, paying for the room for the night? Or, yeah, paying for the room. I will pay for the room, and then I want to go see what's in the shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How um, much for a bed and a meal? Well, <clears throat> for a bed, it, it. Oh my god, dude, I need water. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get some. I, I could use a quick. I agree. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, for <clears throat> the bed, five copper pieces. Uh, for a lunch four to three all right i'll take the one whatever is four copper and i'll take a bed all right you grab a nice bot of stock pot soup and grab yourself a bed for the day you pay it off you got until tomorrow night or until tomorrow morning to get out so you can rest all you need you guys want to take a short rest At least. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe short right. rest and then we can head out. Spend your hit well, die. Explore the town, rather. Yeah. 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 Uh, so get your hit die to whatever. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Spend one or more hit die at the end of the short rest. I forget. Oh, it's the player rolls a die and adds in the constitution modifier. So everyone yeah. everyone knows their hit die, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> uh, 
after that you guys whether what does everyone do while short resting for the for the moment a little <clears throat> peer in just one thing that happened over the hour while you guys prepare to go to the frozen far expeditions and the northern light or the hook line and sinker if anyone is considering going Cyphus so. will be using arcane recovery that's what i will be doing with the short rest okay He's and recovering. reading over the new spell book we got. Oh, yeah. Uh, is he... he... I'm assuming just a first level spell slot. Yeah, that's all I can do anyway. Fair enough. Anyone else? <laughs> um, if anybody needs more HP, uh, I do have Song of Rest, which I can use during a short rest. I don't know how... Does anyone need more HP? Doing? Sorelia sings us a lullaby. Yeah. What is she saying? Uh. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> uh, I will, I will play with Boofer in the snow. I was gonna say, all right, can you give me, give me a little athletics? He's he's running around. He's got a, a stick that he's found off of somewhere. He keeps bringing it for you to throw for him. Oh my god! He, at some point, you throw it, and it gets carried off by the wind somewhere. And he, as he's running, he stops with his tail still wagging, and he just turns back to you. Uh, oh no, nice try! <laughs> <laughs> just a nice try. <laughs> All right. Um, I. Uh, we take a short rest, right? Yep. Now that the short rest, or sorry, did anyone, did you have anything that Aster wants to do during his short rest or anything that he does? Um, not necessarily. All um. right. Well, at the end of your short rest, you guys have the option to go to the stores or investigate more of the town. Moving outside, you can see Trovis is doing his starts of his patrols where he soberly strolls about. Uh, you can hear one of the sisters going, Trovis is out again. He's at the start, so he's not as plastered as he will be in a few hours. Um, Trovis gives you like a, Good afternoon. Is there anything I can help you lot with today? Hmm. I want to buy more rations. Where do I do that? Oh, more rations, you say? Have no fear. Over at the Frozen Far Expeditions, they could have everything you need for your travels. Ooh. Uh, he, okay. he, like, is, he's come along, and he makes a, a gentle hand outward as he's, like, guiding you with him uh, towards Frozen Far. Yeah, I'll follow. All right. Frozen Far Expeditions is... Actually, where is it? Oh, it is the small little house over here, which I can properly label. Yeah, where? Uh, this fun little house right here. Oh. Boink. Here you are, young lady. Uh, and he opens the door for you. Thank you. Uh, and with that, he waves you off and heads back into town. Yeah, I'd like to go up to the, uh, I guess the store clerk. Mm -hmm. Just be like, I would like uh, five daily rations, please. Is this the general store or is this like a specific? It's, this shop sells adventuring gear and other things. Uh, a, a tennis swift. Uh, he is like, welcome, welcome. And gives you five sets of rations. Cause, yes. All right. That's going to be hmm, five silver pieces for a day's, for each ration. Uh, and five, that's about 25 silver pieces. Five silver for a day's ration. Hmm. <laughs> Are you in Frozen Far, Ty? Uh, I was going to say, I, I was going to tag along okay. with 
Sorelia, especially if she is going to buy rations. <laughs> eat food. Yeah, but they came in handy. So no, I want some they more. Did, but that's why I'm coming because <laughs> you might also buy something that's not food. Uh, that's true. <laughs> All right. Um. So I oh. think Aster will be like two silver for a day's ration. Five silver. Five silver. You understand how hard it is to survive out here, and food is one of the most important pieces of surviving itself. If you can't produce any heat, you're not going to survive. Still, that's practically highway robbery. Well, considering the past two years have sent us into a flurry of nighttime and death, growing and really keeping anything alive in the Icewind Dale is impossibly hard. You must understand, five silver pieces is fair for what I offer. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. All right, 25. 25 silver? For five days of rations, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've also got this crag cat skin. Can I sell that here? Oh, I'd be more than willing to take a look here. Uh, and he takes hold of it. A tennis is very uh, simple with how he, like, maneuvers investigating. Uh, I must ask, who... Cut this crag cat. I've never seen such a fine cut. It was me. Well, young lady, your work is prodigal. Uh, Thank you. I'd be more than willing to pay two gold for it. Okay. All right. He hands you two gold. You hand him 25 silver pieces. This really wasn't necessary of a, of a trade, <laughs> but he's more than willing to do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You realistically just paid five silver. Um, Yay! I will... I, I I looked at the book and realized that five silver is just the normal amount for a ration, my yeah. bad. No, you're okay! It sounded so much, I'm like, oh, I know, it right? Did sound, it did right? sound like a lot. That's it's, why I was like, huh? <laughs> because at least, I guess, it, because it isn't hard tack. Like, it's not just, like, a, a cookie. It is, it is most likely, like, dried meats, bread, and cheeses. Yeah. No, oh. it makes sense. It's things that are uh, that have to be able to keep, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> I still have the bloodstone on me. <laughs> oh, well, you sold that already because we did. Okay. We've counted. You should have had fifty. Is it ten gold pieces? Uh, fifty. Fifty gold pieces. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. All right. It was still in my uh on my list. Boys, back at the Northlight. What's our plan now that you've got the rest of the evening to yourselves? I didn't know if you wanted to move anywhere, and Ty, if you wanted to buy anything. Um, yeah, what else um, is there? Um, well, what are the... you looking for? They have adventuring gear, very limited stock for some things. Um, other than that, like just general stuff. There's really only I... general store goods and adventuring supplies. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm looking for uh, probably nothing here then, but more just like any leads to where <laughs> he, I might be. Are you looking for something more interesting? Uh, yes, something um, arcane in nature, perhaps? Ooh. Or... Well, don't worry, I have just the thing. He very excitedly pulls out a sealed wooden box, unlocking a latch. It's... A, it's not massive, but he has to... He can hold the box in both hands. In character, I'm very curious. Out of character, I'm sold. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> box, baby! Well, uh, I've had this in my family for some time, but seeing as things aren't really working out within these past couple years, I figured adventurers like yourselves would be the most apt to buy this. Um, it is... Hmm. A spinning top. That's it. There's various runes along the side. Uh, but, like, he doesn't explain further unless asked. Gives you, like, a... Uh, hmm. uh, yeah, I think, I'll, I think I will go... Very intriguing. I mean, to be fair, a few year, years is... Very short time. You should not count yourself out of your luck yet. I'd say... Give, give it at least a decade, and then maybe you can see that you're in some kind of rut. Um, but 
for now, you're probably fine. Um, that being said, however, what is that object? I'm very interested. It is a piece of history. He pulls out the top, spins it on the table, and then smugly crosses his arms as for what feels like an hour, but is really just two to three minutes. The top never stops spinning. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is, that what, is that the sound that comes out of the spinning yeah, top? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was my, my fucking dollar store Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the first Bluetooth in Faerun. Yeah. That's why it's history. <laughs> what um, do you think? He he's very smug about this. He does. Astro thinks this is garbage. Astro <laughs> thinks this is basically trash. Five um, gold. No. <laughs> he immediately is like, "What do you mean, no? It's look at it. It continues to spin." Yeah. Yes. No. It that is. I. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that the object itself is not inherently interesting or valuable, but simply that I do not know what, how it helps an adventurer. Yeah, well, I guess that's why it's stuck in the family for so long. He looks a little disappointed by it, but <laughs> offers you the rest of his stock. There's, there's a few simple weapons, nothing martial, but uh, other than that, some general goods. Um, is there any place that might have any kind of magical items or strange things in the town? The only thing strange about this town is the disappearances and the amount of liquor that goes missing at uh, the... Oh my god, I almost said the Northlook Tavern. Dude, this thing is embedded in my brain. No, the hook, <laughs> line, and sinker. He kind of emphasizes that when he means strange, he just, and, and disappearances, he means that people drink a lot. And there's also yeah. a, a wild amount of liquor for <laughs> how far this town is out, but he doesn't question it. Um. If nothing, mm -hmm. then that's all right. You you could I will uh, send you things that you guys. Could I mean, I'm not giving him five gold for the top. No, I he, do really want it. Like, <laughs> out of character, I want it so bad. But five gold is is too steep. All right, uh, Garosh, Cyphus, Kateros, what would you guys like to get up to mischief wise? Uh, Cyphus would like to transcribe the spell Scorching Ray. Okay. Into my your known spells. As as, into my known spells. Out of character, as far as the spell list that we got goes, I I can't learn any of those. So that's all yeah. You. It's it's all wizard spells. Uh, some of those are in uh, others. Are, no, but they're all they're yeah. all specifically spells that a wizard can learn. Yep. Uh, Justin, you. How do you absorb spells now that you know them? Do you like Dovahkiin like? <gasps> Like absorb it like a soul, slurp them out, uh, or, or does the like paper? Your book. Yeah, it just goes into your your tome. I think I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'd probably study the existing tome and then practice it. You and place then transcribe it in my own. The spell sheet like Naofumi's shield into your wand, uh, and it like absorbs yeah. inside it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, you know Scorching Ray. Kateros, Garosh. Sorry, I didn't mean to call on you like it was the fucking Power Rangers. <laughs> I, we, <laughs> I just didn't know Kateros. if you guys had any planned or plans. Uh, hmm. Garosh Ranger. <laughs> uh, Kateros is feeling a little bit better mentally if we wanted to explore a little bit. Um, we could always check out... Oh my god, which one is it? Hook, line, and sinker? Is that the other tavern? Correct. That seems like the place to check out. The tavern. I'll go with you. Uh, what about you, Grandpa? Welcome. 
All right. Yo, Venture. what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, hook, line, and sinker is... Oh. Well, it is right here. Or it's this <laughs> thing. World's worst pointing arrow. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not sure which building it is, but it's one of them. Let me in there. All right, it is the house just down here. Right here, actually, you guys are incredibly close to it. Do you want to walk right in, or any? Uh, is there anything notable outside? Uh, no, not really. Just uh, the the name of the tavern inscribed on a wood plate near the front of the door. Okay. Stepping no inside. Problem. Stepping inside, you are met by a group of fishermen. Just like, hey! Uh, as the owner, don't even catch his name as he steps out from behind the bar <laughs> faster than you step into the bar. And just at the door front... On a side table is a mug of ale. Who's the first to enter, I should ask? I'll go in first. Garosh, you are immediately given a, a, a pitcher. Not a pitcher, sorry. You are that. You are big. You're not that big. Flagon. <laughs> you are given a flagon or a uh, tankard uh, of ale. This is not, like, the best ale ever, but it's pretty fine for what's in the Icewind Dale. He goes, welcome, welcome. Free of charge. Oh, really? Yeah. What's come, the occasion? Sit down. And, oh, nothing. It's just a company policy. And he sees the two of you enter, Syphus, Kateros, and he goes, For you two, come to the bar. Free first drinks. Um, okay. You guys hear Sounds someone good. mention or like half-handedly or off-handedly comment something as you go, you two sit down next to them at the bar. You are both handed ale. Do you guys want to give me perception checks to see or hear, oh, yeah. hear what they sure. say? I should say. Uh, I don't yeah, know what they're saying this so is, is this, this is an ale. Uh, the bartender goes this. This is chill bear season. Uh, it's light. It's fruity. It's from an expedition brewing company. And he shows. I got a nineteen. Him. Nineteen. You hear? Uh, they whisper over. One of them goes the hook, uh, and. <laughs> <laughs> you guys begin drinking. You, it, it is a fruity slash uh, light drink. I don't know if anyone has a particular taste towards flavors. Um, otherwise, not much. Uh, the bartender does ask, they're like, what brings you to Karakonig? Ah, well, just uh, kind of going around... Uh... We uh, were chasing after someone to save their life, and we did. <laughs> well, damn. An impressive feat. Not a lot of people save even their own family's skin. Nevertheless, someone else's... I'm assuming you knew them? Oh, no. But I couldn't turn down the helpless cries of a loyal and devout pauper named Boy. <gasps> A natural sun seeker yourself. And you boys? Did you happen to know the man in danger? Uh, and he asks he asks uh Kateros and Cyphus. As he says he looks at Cyphus and goes, sorry, not boy. Sir. No, didn't know him myself. Very kind hearts, the lot of you. Uh you guys finish up your first drinks. Are you chuggers? <laughs> or are you, uh, I assume sippers. Oh, somebody. Cyphus is a slow sipper. <laughs> I'm a chugger. All right. Kateros? Uh, he's a sipper, especially because he already had a drink beforehand. Do you want to buy another another round, Garosh? Uh, sure, yeah. All right. I'm in a festive mood. How much is it? <laughs> Drinks here are... Let's see. Oh, I went the wrong way in my reference sheet. <laughs> this is a... Not like the best ale you've ever had in your life, but fairly good. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
It's I'll, I'm a liar. I don't have it. It's five. It's huh. five copper. Oh yeah, totally. All right. He pours you another one, and you hear yet another whispering amongst yourselves. If anyone would like, you guys can give me a perception check to hear it. Um, he pours it for you quickly and says, That big body, I figured you'd chug it down pretty quickly, but not as fast as you did. Hope you enjoy this next glass as much as the first. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to listen in, or are you good? Um, I will try. <laughs> Yeah, and Torelli and I show up. Yeah, absolutely. You guys can cool. hear some excitement uh, going on in the nearby tavern. Um, stepping inside, you can see the three of them are sitting at the counter. And as soon as you enter, the uh, bartender approaches you with a free mug of ale in hand. It says, welcome, welcome to the hook, line, and sinker. Please take a seat. Um, we will sit down with our friends if we see them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at least. Cyphus, did you, or not Cyphus, well, actually, did anyone listen in? Yeah. Uh, yeah, rolled a 24. 24. All right. You oh. can, the, you hear them go, yeah, the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the sinker? <laughs> <laughs> the one who's, the one who's foolish enough to say it. <laughs> So was I was I given alcohol also? He gives Aster this ale and looks down at you and unsure of how to proceed, asks Aster with a sidebar of a conversation like, "Does uh, does she uh you know?" And he makes a mime of drinking. Go, oh, go. she'll try. She'll, oh, she'll oh, try. Okay. <laughs> how do you do, little lady? And he he bends down to your height. Hello. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Hmm. What's Garage having? Oh, he's having our Chill Bear Saison. It's a very light and fruity drink. It's from Expedition Brewing Company. I'll take some. Perfect. Uh, and he puts you in a high chair at one of the bar stools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's a bit unorthodox, so it might be a little hard to sit in, but I hope you find yourself at an easier height to drink at. Um, and he puts the smaller thing of ale in front of you. Given your, your height, I feel like a large mug would be a little bit overkill. I thought you were giving her a booster seat for a second. He I is. Was no, he does. Oh, thank <laughs> God. Early in a high chair. It's like three phone books. <laughs> Uh, yes. No, no, no. I'm just imagining they just have a high chair because if it's a tavern, it's not necessarily like a, a age restricted at the time. Ah, uh, yes, Sorelia and the Frozen <laughs> Throne. Sorelia and the baby seat. Yeah. Woo. The next. Do you want. Uh, sorry. Cyphus, Cataros, Woo, you chug again, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah. Uh, I chug. Cyphus, <laughs> Cataros, you have now finished your first drink. Uh, Astra, are you a chugger? No. Okay. I should have figured. And Sorelia, <laughs> I don't think it's physically possible for you. You literally can't open your mouth farther. I wanna, I, see, and that's why I, I... This is, I think, the slight problem. Me, Tyler, the player, wants to just enable this chaotic robot child. And me, Aster, is deeply concerned. Yeah, I'm not actually going to try to drink it. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Garage instead. All right. But I do want to take out my tambourine uh -huh. have, and have a little music going. Garosh, give me a constitution check. Uh, sure. One second. And Kateros, Cyphus, do you guys want to order another drink? I'll have one. How much was it? Uh, it's two, or sorry, five copper pieces for your second drink. Uh, I'll go for one more. Kateros? I'm so curious. All right, I'll go for a second drink. All right. Uh, five copper pieces. Garosh, do you want to get yeah. one? Uh, This would be like, what, my fourth drink? This would be your third drink. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It's two silver pieces this time. Oh, okay. 
All right. Uh, he hands you three your new drinks. It's, again, the very nice uh, Expedition Co. Ale. Does anyone... Well, Garosh, now that you've chugged, can you give me... You got your const... Sorry, I should have... Oh, my God. I talked in three different languages, <laughs> and they're all not real. <laughs> Garosh, give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, I already rolled oh, okay. 17. 17? Yeah. You take a moment, and as you exhale, you have a very fruity, frosty breath that leaves your mouth with like a... And there's a, a little bit of condensation leaking out. Uh, oh, shit. I wonder if that affects my breath weapon. Cyphus, Kateros, you're pretty good, but Cyphus, can you give me a constitution saving throw? Uh, sure. Kateros, you're pretty young. Constitution's not a good stat. <laughs> He's young and spry. <laughs> you continue sipping your own... As you guys are sitting here, he gives you guys, well... I'm assuming you all came together if you're all sitting pretty buddy-buddy. Got 15. Oh, wow. You actually are holding your liquor pretty good. I'm sure you've heard all of the rumors going around the Ten Tails. Is that what has brought you to Kerr Koenig or, or even Kelvin's Cairn? Uh, which rumors? Well, I heard about the rumors of the, uh, the Goliath lycanthrope going up at Kelvin's Cairn. I didn't know if you guys were actually the ones searching for it. It is one of the reasons we wanted to come through, among many. Well, I'm sure you've heard about what's going on. Town surrounding. Have, have we? I don't remember, Grant. Well, like, <laughs> well, like East Haven or, or Dugan's Hole. Surely you've heard the rumors. I Can't don't say think, that I have. Yeah, I don't think we have. I would remember Dugan's Hole. Well, <laughs> Dugan's Hole. He leans over the counter with like a, well, well, have I got the stories for you. What do you want to hear first, Dugan's Hole or East Haven? Uh, is it not the same issue? No, Dugan's Hole and East Haven are two completely different towns. He turns well, over think... to the other one, the, the other party members like, this guy hasn't been in the Ten Towns very long, has he? I sure have not. <laughs> Does Catters know anything about East Haven having traveled through there? Uh, has he traveled through there? Yeah, he came in the docks there. Uh, oh, oh, he you know that super long. it's it's fairly put together. You didn't stay there for like too too long, but they were having some trouble with like magi like some magicians uh, were doing something devious before you left, but you didn't really stick around to see how it planned out or paid out I don't know. do you want to hear the rumor yeah uh Kateros kind of leans in he goes I heard something about magicians in East Haven but oh yes yes more than that. in East Haven they caught an evil wizard who killed some adventurers the town militia plans to burn the wizard at the stake I hear the hmm. captain of the guard is looking for adventurers to help with some other task that may or may not be related. What about Dugan's Hole, have you heard? I want to know about Dugan's Hole. <laughs> In Dugan's Hole, people are living in fear. <laughs> Dugan's oh. Hole. <laughs> he laughs. Ha ha, very funny. But I hear people there are living in fear of wolves that haunt the outskirts of the town. As big as horses they are, and smarter than normal wolves. I'm, we're picking between the two of them. Uh, I, I think we let the wolves do whatever they're doing, and I think we go fuck up the people who are burning a wizard. And may, we'll not fuck them up, but see, see what they're doing, you know? I thought the wizard was evil. I mean, he is, but did he, well, did he kill people? I don't know. Supposedly. Supposedly. Uh, right? right, yeah. I'm willing to bet my money that the East Haven government wouldn't act so crassly if... If a man's being burned, they surely found him guilty. That's fair. Well, maybe he had some cool magic stuff on him. <laughs> and we can go get that. <laughs> yeah, I need to go to Dugan's Hole I... at some point. You know, I'd like to ask the guy a question. Yeah? I'm a little drunk, so I'd be like, hey, 
<laughs> hey, you, you, get, you get any rumors about, uh... Oh, sorry, I never introduced myself, had I? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. So you're kind of hay until you do. <laughs> you're more than fine. You can call me Glenn. E. Glenn Darkor. And he holds his hand out. I shake it more vigorously than I intend to. <laughs> <laughs> You've chugged your next drink. Do you want to buy another another drink? It's the same two silver pieces. Yeah, I'll go for one more. All right, Leo Fifth. Uh, you guys have been here for close to like a couple, like almost an hour, as you've been enjoying your drinks. Uh, what would you like to ask him? I'll be like, listen. I was wondering, you got any rumors about? Oh, I don't know, dragons around here. You got any of those around? I don't mean dragonborn, because he... I'm one of those. I mean real dragon he heads over after you say that he thinks for a moment walking over to the the poster board for certain like wanted or, or other like quest board uh let's see he digs through some of the leftover parchment and pulls out a uh, a beware sign uh, he rips it off of the nails and hands it to you um, well, yes, I heard out in the tundra, the unmapped sections of this land, there's a bit of a dragon problem. If you see it, be sure not to rouse any suspicion or otherwise bring any attention to yourself. I've heard many people talk about losing loved ones to the thing, never anyone seeing it, which can only mean the worst. Ah, I see, I see. Well, that's good to know. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Here, let me buy you a drink. <laughs> You're too kind. And do, do you actually? I, I will actually buy him a drink. He, Two silver, right? Yeah, he pours himself a drink and, and clinks glasses with you. Uh, Hell thanking yeah. you and enjoying his drink as he works. Does anyone else have anything that they want to get into? Or you guys want to spend the rest of your evening here? I'm good. I'm all set to just drink and then take Head our back. nap. All right. A few more drinks flow in and out. Um, anyone who wants to buy any more is more than welcome to. It's two silver pieces. Once you get past uh, two or three, I would say, woo, I do need a constitution check. Saving throw. Sure. Kataros, Cyphus, did anyone want to buy any more? Cyphus isn't going to risk it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Aster... A alcohol is not Aster's poison. Oh my choice. god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sorelia, do you drink? No. Okay. All four of you come out, two on each side of Garoche's arms. <laughs> Garoche is drunker than he's been in the past few months. <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> you step outside of the hook, line, and sinker after they, by the way, call for last call. And you hear the sinker uh, from all of the other the other patrons <laughs> um, as you you've gotten your last drinks. Garosh, you are carried on both arms out and throw up immediately upon leaving the hook, line, and sinker. Nice. Does he have any drunk ramblings that he goes off on? Does he see? Yes. See an I love you guys. No, he's like, where's Buffer? <laughs> I love him. He is very good. Don't you agree? Yes, he is. He's a very good dog. <laughs> yes, I think he should meet the green man. I think they would be very good companions. Who's to say he has not already met the green man? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> You're blowing his mind. He communes with many, and he takes many forms. Don't. Before no way. you leave, <laughs> or actually, as you arrive in the North Light, um. Or, oh my god, the Northern Light. One of the sisters welcomes the rest of you. Uh, Trovis, who's already drunkenly passed out in a chair nearby with some soup set aside him. You see the younger sister, Allie, gives you the, Welcome back! Oh, another drunk dragonborn. Wonderful. Buffer. <laughs> Woof. Another? You, she gestures over to Trovis, who's drunkenly passed out. The speaker out. for this town uh, is a well-known drunk. 
Did well, they have any, uh... Born drunk. That's how we met him. Yeah. Ye old Gatorade, maybe. <laughs> Ye old Gatorade. Nothing wrong with the juice of the gator. <laughs> Do you guys? Okay, so, J Cypus, you've already paid for your room. Yeah. Who's staying with Cypus? Well. Okay, I, uh... five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so two two rooms have already been paid for. They are a bed each. Does anyone want? I don't need that. Okay. <laughs> I don't think either Sorelia does. Sorelia, you're. No, I don't need a bed. I'm assuming you stay with one of the boys. Um, who is putting Garosh in their bed? Oh, babysit Garosh. Um, can I get some like <laughs> bread and water for him? For Absolutely. Uh, it costs you no no copper for the the water, obviously, but only one copper for the bread. She brings it in. Oh, I hope you're doing all right. If there's anything we can get you, just coal, okay? Get me buffer. I know we drink. have like a pan, maybe, a, maybe it, like a, a big pan. bowl. Yeah, of course. Uh, she runs out. Uh, you can hear the dog barking at the window outside of you guys. Ah, uh, buffer. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I will feed you, and you will become strong. <laughs> it's like clenching his fist in the air. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anyone have anything that they'd want to do before they go to bed? Otherwise, we'll consider this a long rest, and the third of Eliant will fall, moving to the fourth of Eliant. Long rest, long rest. Long rest, long rest, long rest. Long rest, long rest. I mean, yeah, unless, uh, ty uh, you know, the GM wants to give a dream sequence. Uh, if I... <laughs> I don't know why he does that. He's special. <laughs> I literally don't. I've never figured out why he does that. Uh, a dream sequence, you say? I'd be more than willing. Oh, that was just me messing around. But if you uh, okay. actually have one, go for it, dude. Uh, for those of whom... Well, you specifically have disadvantage on this check. But if everyone wants to give me <laughs> a fortitude saving throw... That's not a thing. Nope, not fortitude. Constitution. Sorry, I run three different things. <laughs> for Are you valid? A constitution saving throw for the night. Anyone who gets above 15 is sober enough to have a dream. Cool. Anyone 20. else? 20? Yeah. Not now. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Want Sorry, to what are we rolling for? I had uh, to wrestle with my sheet. Constitution saving throw to see if you have a dream. Typhus sleeps like the dead. <laughs> I got a five. It's fair. I imagine that he when he's sleeping, only has they're one like, drink. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> I imagine when they when he's sleeping, they're like, "Oh God, is it finally time?" <laughs> Anyone? So, so is Aster 15. the only one? Fifteen. All right. Aster, you have a dream of a lar a, a small black building in the middle uh, of an icy, snowy terrain. And all of a the sudden, there's a glorious, boundless flash of light that blinds you. And as soon as it, can, uh, it recedes and turns back, you wake up. Interesting. Kataros. Um, in your dream, before you on a pedestal stands like a black handle of some form of weapon. It has no weapon connected to it. Oh. Hmm. Do you want to is grab this it? It's an interactive dream. It yeah, is. I want to grab it. You grab hold of it, and suddenly this black handle turns a coursing deep blue and purple, uh, and a f flaming, now frozen blade extends out the side of it. You look off into the distance, and hundreds of little black stars turn a bright and coursing blue, shining with white light. Uh, and as soon as you... Do you want to raise your sword, lower your sword, or throw your sword? Uh, I'll raise it. You raise your sword, and suddenly hundreds of individual different weapons are raised with you, and cheers, chants, and war cries ring out. Kataros! 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 And suddenly you find yourself awake. Just like rubs his eyes, very confused. 
It also doesn't leave nice. surprised. Nice. <laughs> I should have moved you guys over to the northern light. Uh, <laughs> Just fall asleep in the end. It is time around early. Uh, and you guys can hear Allie going, Son of a bitch! Along with her sister, Motherfucker! Um, they're kicking and screaming, uh, Another one gone! Um, how, when did that start? Because I don't sleep fully. Uh, around 6 a.m., Cool. I'm probably, up. Yeah, I would probably <laughs> check that shit out. Wait. Windows operating. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys trudge into the common hall. Another large amount of meat taken at night. We have to be better at locking this thing up. We're going to lose our entire stock. Meat stolen. Um. Uh, so the, much has been stolen around yeah. here. The the two sisters argue saying that there must be others that have been like stolen from and Trovis is really going to hear from it at the next speakers meeting. Um that's a great point. We should go check to see if the general store has been stolen from. Uh yeah, who you head out there first? It's pitch yeah, black. Yeah, I probably do. Running over me. to the Frozen Far Expeditions. You can move over there when you want. Cool. You see that there is... Do you want to give me actually perception check? Yeah. Uh, Saif is being an old man. It's probably also up early. But mm -hmm. he'll search... Um, he'll search the Northern Lights for any evidence. All right. I got a 21. 17. You can see that there is recent footprints that lead around some of the outside of Frozen Far Expedition, but you'd need to make a survival check to identify like what these belong to and, and where they're heading. I'll take a survival check. Alright, go for it. Three. Sorelia. I also roll a three. Sorelia, I have a plus you guys, three, but it, but you it's... guys are following each other's tracks in a circle. <laughs> oh my god. Well... <laughs> Do you need me to come over and try to track this? Uh, yeah, maybe we should get the uh, everyone else on this. That's a good point. Do you maybe I'll go get everybody else? Or I'm I'm looking at myself in chainmail and you made entirely out of metal and trying to figure out which one of us would be sneakier. <laughs> um, I have a plus two in stealth. Cool. I'm gonna go get the others then and you should stay here and keep an eye out okie dokie um and i'll head back to the inn and try and rouse the the rest of the gang all right um can Keteros ask them if they have any idea like who could it be stealing meat uh their best guess or at least one of the sisters best guesses is a another reference to a previously mentioned you've heard uh where is her name? You've heard Alice or Ali being like, it's those damn dwarves again. To which Corey is just like, no, it's not. You're not listening. There's no reason. Um, but their best, that's, that's the most of it. So who survival checks at frozen far who got what? Three and three. Oh, Did anyone let me roll? Rush? Yeah. Yeah. Let me roll. I got a six technically. It's just a three on the die. But <laughs> oh three. my god! <laughs> three. He, he three joins. Red. He joins in an ever-growing circle of tracks. Technically, it's a six, but <laughs> no worries. I'm so worried. Garosh, you have the Please. option to do the funniest. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Mm. You find tracks, again, just outside of Frozen Far, but as you get closer to them, you realize that you've at some point deviated and started following, like, another pair of tracks, and then you find a giant spiral of Cyphus, Sorelia, and Aster moving in a circle. Kateros, you have the ability to do the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> Let's see. And I'm really hoping you don't do, do it. Roll three. Oh, not 20. Not 20? Oh, that's also pretty Wait. funny. 
I'll fucking take it. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Anyway, the tracks go over here. <laughs> Leading towards Kelvin's cairn, you find ogre footsteps. Oh shit. These are fresh and they're heading straight towards the northeastern foothills of Kelvin's cairn. Ogre. Oh, ogre? Ogre. Die? Ogre. <laughs> oh. um, ogre. ogre. It's Gogurt? We're not looking for an ogre, we're, just, we're looking for a John or a Goliath, right? Correct. Well right now we're looking yeah. for a fucking Okay, well lead. no, we're gonna go see what this ogre is doing. Um how far is it? It's it's the trek to Calvin's Cairn. It takes a little over an hour depending on the weather. Cyphus? Uh, can you give me a D100? Oh, sure. I will. Oh, oh, sorry, no, sorry. A wisdom saving throw first. Curse, 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 uh -oh. curse, curse. Curse, 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 curse. That's a 10. Grant, do it to him. <laughs> Hold on. Like this? All right. Now can you roll me a D100? Yeah. Forty-nine. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Dead instantly. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Let me see if I can get yeah. this up correctly. This is hey, going... Don't. What? Do it to him. Continue talking amongst yourselves for a moment. I have to... So you are affected with an effect. Another D100. Okay. You feel the effect. <laughs> Got scared. 62. All right. <laughs> this will come up later. Nothing has happened yet. Uh oh, oh, like that. oh great. <laughs> You're saying oh, this no. is a surprise tool that will help us later. I don't know if it'll help us later. You That'll feel us later. I will say you feel a little warm in your chest, but the you grip hold of the black shardlin in your bag and make sure it's there. Uh, grab, do you guys want to get boy and get the the sled going? Yeah. All right. Grab is hold boy of him. Here? Yeah, boy. Uh, not boy. Sorry, uh, Borf. Boof. No, no. Beef. I said what I said. <laughs> Uh, we just steal <laughs> Garrett's dog again. <laughs> All right, who's who's he leading? Owes us. We gotta who's go leading this payment. travel? <laughs> Probably Aster or Garrosh. Garrosh, can you give me? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. An intelligence check, or or no, sorry, you're giving me a wisdom check, survival. Yeah. Okay. So survival. Yeah. Yep. I can give you survival. Uh, one second. 17 total yeah absolutely all right uh justin i need to send you this okay do it tom oh, you've no. been afflicted with actually you don't know Something. yet right you can't determine at the moment um but you it's guys like my... <laughs> like my... <laughs> die die you guys find yourselves oh please don't be Un oh, it's perfect. It's covered. You guys find yourself traveling towards Kelvin's Cairn, riding on the dog sled. It takes you little, little less than an hour now with uh, Boy taking you in. You get to the northeastern section Boofer. and Boofer die. <laughs> um, and now that you I mean, reach the foothills, I need you guys to do a group, sur uh, group survival check very quickly. Uh, the tracks have led to here. Nat 20. Uh, Nat 20. Perfect. Nat so 16. 16. Justin, it's hinging on you. 15. Yeah! Actually, that's without <laughs> any pluses. A blocky stronghold bereft of warmth or charm juts out of a hillside in a rough crescent shape. Only part of its construction is, vis is visible. The rest is buried in stone. A large double door of stone serves as the main entrance. The terrain leading to it 
is a gently upward sloping plain covered with fresh snow. A stream used to flow out of a barred culvert northeast of the main entrance, but the waterway has since frozen. Two other barred openings can be seen along the stronghold's northern wall. Anyone positioned behind these openings would have an unobstructed view of the hillside. Closer to you, separated from the rest of the stronghold, is a snow-covered bunker with perforated arrow or perforated by arrow slits. Um, and as you guys walk up, I will uncover uh, and copy you in. Excuse me while I prepare it. So we'll do this first. Uh, and now I can... It's like a windshield wiper. <laughs> and... Sorry, let me move you guys to the correct area. It's like a squeegee. <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Do we still see the, like, tracks and footprints of ogres? Uh, or did that like die? Or did it that, like, dies out here? relatively close to this post. Hmm. You know, I'd like to look around to see if there's any traps, like hidden in the snow. All right, go for it. What do you want me to roll? Perception. Uh, yeah, give me perception. Give me perception right. if you just want to do like a regular overlook or an investigation for a more immediate area look. I'm gonna do perception. All right. Justin. I'll give you guidance if I can. Oh, that would be super. Did you see my name? Uh, yeah. Can you, that you means I have a 21. Look overhead as a massive shadow flies over you guys. Gripping at the top of this cavern roars a gigantic white dragon that blows uh, freezing air around itself and, and roars. No one else in the group seems to react to this, but you can see this. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not going to try to fight a dragon. What do you do? Uh, Hide, because I'm not not in a position to fight a genuine dragon. Make well, a break for the tower? I was going to say, Garrosh, you can't see this. Oh, I can't see this? No, Cyphus is the only one seeing this. Oh, okay, I see, I see, sorry. You make, it, make a, a break run. for the tower, I guess. All right. <laughs> as soon as you make a break for the tower, you hear a boom as all of a sudden these giant this giant gate in front of you uh closes up its path uh and the doors to it like you can hear clunk clunk of lock this is tower. once again all just cyphus's perception cyphus right? is no no cyphus is running uh, where are you running to, Justin? You can run along this safe Toward, path. Towards towards the tower. Yeah, towards this area. So what is this gate, then? Uh, this gate is somewhere over here. You can see a, a, a sort of... What is it? The, a keep, really. I see, okay. These, yeah, so I just will yell, yell for everybody else to get down. <laughs> um, Aster will get down and probably start looking up and around, trying to see. Uh, yeah. I, I think we're being attacked, so I'll react accordingly. Yeah. Um, does the bunker... The bunker's that thing in front of us, right? Correct. Does it have uh, an entrance or anything that's visible? Not on it here, no. Okay. Where did I hear the locks going to? Uh, the the door keep. On the tower. Uh, here, actually, yeah. I'll uncover a little bit of it, because you can see the wood of the keep. Oh, the keep. I was going for the bunker. Yeah, 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 the bunker has no doors. Near. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Classic. This stone uh, is bunker... the dragon doing anything? Oh, I should... Sorry, I was going to read the bunker to you. This stone bunker stands 15 feet tall. The rough edges of its construction indicate that it was cut from a single piece of stone. Um, what? Any... So, Justin, can you give me... A dexterity saving throw. Sure. All right. A arrow flies. I should say a crossbow bolt flies right past you from the the keep as you pass by it and and narrowly avoids you in in this section. Um, and as as soon as you pass it, no more arrows or crossbow bolts fly out. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, the dragon All to right. you is looking down at you and uh, trying to find a way down. It's over along the section opposite you, and it's not flying. It's climbing down the wall to, to crawl across the keep opposite to get to you. And it's begun... Okay, well, it's, I'll hide... I'll hide behind the, the All right. thing. You look terrified. Um, the other group, uh, other people, Oof. would you guys like to, to jump in? Yeah, I'd say stay as a group. Yeah, let's go. Um, do I see this arrow? Like, we can all see. Yeah, you can hear the sound of a crossbow being shot. You can't see where the arrow lands or where it's shot from. Uh, unless you want to wait or try and bait out another arrow from where Cyphus was standing when he was shot at. Um, well, I'll preemptively cast Mage Armor before okay. my low AC gets to me. All right. Um, I will give Garrosh uh, guidance again. Okay. Thank if you. If you all move at once, I'm just going to roll a d4 to see who I hit in order of uh, left to right from our little screen. Um, so... Sorelia, then Sorelia one, Kataros two, Garosh three, Astro four. <clears throat> Kataros, you can give me a dexterity saving throw. No. Okay. That would be a fourteen. Yeah, you scuttle past this as you hear the whistling of another bolt fly and hit the ice behind you, moving past the slits. All, f uh, I guess, five of you if you count Boof. Um, then Absolutely. All, all five of you have made it past the area where you can be shot at. Cyphus, is he like screaming, panic? How is he? How is he handling his fear? He's definitely terrified, but he's going to ask Garosh what we should do about a dragon. <laughs> he doesn't. Just to make sure. Born. I haven't seen or heard a dragon, right? No, nothing. Yeah, I, I just go up and around. I just go what? <laughs> I don't go what? The dragon. What dragon? I start looking I, around. I I point at I lean around the corner and is, do I see it still? You yeah, it, well no actually. You turn where the dragon was once climbing down the wall to to find you. He is now gone. Well, I'll tell him that it must have flown away, but there was a dragon over <laughs> there. <laughs> All right. Uh, right. You uh good there, buddy. You drink enough last night? <laughs> All right. This is where we will find our end tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy this, and we will see you next Tuesday, same time. Does anyone have anything that they want to say before we end tonight? Cyphus has finally gone senile.